I should not be here. I should be dead. My name is Ryan Russell. I am 21 years old and we're sitting in my room in Davis, California. So I was born with severe congenital heart disease. I was born with pulmonary stenosis, two ventricular septal defects, and transposition of the great vessels. Transposition of the great vessels is basically when your heart slipped around. My left is on my right and my right is on my left. The septum, the wall between the two sides, have a defect. There are two holes between them. So the blue and the red blood leaks between the two chambers. My pulmonary artery, one of the tubes that goes from your heart to your lungs, is very constricted, kind of like if you kink a hose. My heart was pumping backwards, purple blood, that couldn't even fit through. So I've had four open heart surgeries to correct that. I was what's known as, in layman's terms, a blue baby. So hospitalization occurs at around 80% O2 sat. So when your oxygen level in your blood gets around 80%, you are hospitalized. I was born and lived the first five years of my life or so, almost six years, with about 73% oxygen saturation level. I, I remember every day of, of my last surgery, days and days, possibly weeks, with your chest cut open also to get to your heart. They have to go through your ribs, therefore you're also recovering from broken ribs. They have tubes that are half inch wide, they're called chest tubes, and, and they're to drain the excess fluids from around your heart. After about a week or so, your heart's recovered enough where it's not ble internally bleeding as much and they can take the tubes out. There's, there's stitches that keep it in there, so they cut the stitches off. And then they hold you down, and then this tube that's maybe five, six inches inside your body, they just take it and they just rip it right out of your system and it knocked the wind out of me for literally half an hour I could not speak and when I was five years old I had four of those. I'm a very optimistic person. I always try and look at the bright side of things even in the darkest situation when I'm you know in a hospital bed with four tubes sticking out of me draining my blood and I have an IV in my neck something that's so thick that it's actually pulling itself out of my neck you know, what, what's, what's the good of this? Why should I keep trying to survive and this, that, and the other? But on the same note, I'm very grateful for the fact that I can have these surgeries and that I'm not dead. Ask anybody who has some sort of handicap if they have a handicap, and most of the time they'll say, no, I don't have a handicap. No, I'm not disabled. I'm enabled. I'm enabled to have a different perception. No, physically I might be different and less capable than somebody else, but it's taught me things that you can't read in a book, that you can't learn unless you've been there. And, and that's what, I guess, my disease has done for me.